Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Reefy here. Now, before we get into this video, can I ask that y'all do me some favors? First, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications as well. Also, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram as well. On Twitch, I got some sub badges and sub emotes y'all could use if y'all subscribe. And yeah, it really truly does mean a lot that y'all subscribing and supporting the channel in any way, shape, or form. It really truly does mean a lot. And with that done, we're going to get on with the video. Yo, so in my 24, almost 25 years of being on this earth, I've heard a lot of dumb shit in my life, right? And one of the dumbest things I ever heard was one time when I was eight years old back at elementary school, right? And some dude that ass told me, yo, bro, you're too old to be watching Dragon Ball Z. Mind you, he was the same exact age as me. And I'm just like, yo, bro, I'm eight years old watching a show about niggas fighting at supersonic speeds. What do you mean I'm too old to be watching that? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know how dumb you you really sound saying something? Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Reefy here in the back with part 23 of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on Critical Mode. So in the last video, right? We did Mount Olympus and we finished it up. And we also did Pooh's storybook, you know, the 100 acre wood. We got one more page left to go, right? So we ended up here in Port Royal, right? And then come to find out the Aztec gold is still giving problems, so we're gonna do something about that. And also, Luxord from Organization 13 pulled up and started trouble like he always does, am I right? And he took four medallions from the Aztec treasure and we gotta find them, so yeah, with all that being done, we gonna, we gonna go on forward, so we gotta go this way, right? Yeah, we gotta go this way. And our goal, like I said, is to find the four medallions, so yeah, fun fact, I ain't died the last video, but... Here's so hoping I don't die in this video because the first visit on Port Royal, I died so many times, bro. Like, I was really getting so heated because I kept dying. All right, you know what? Let's see what's in this treasure chest right here. That's a Serenity Gem. What's in the other treasure chest right there? That's a King recipe. I think that's to create the shield for Goofy or uh, the save the queen. The queen. Save the queen. Save the king uh, shield for Goofy. But yeah, we not. We. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to. I'm about to fucking die. Okay, I'm not dead. I meant to kill that pirate. Yeah! I'm Italian. Get it? All right, so that's one of the harlots that has a medallion. So yeah, we gotta, we gotta um fight it. Okay, so there was a reaction command called Begin Game. I didn't do that because I didn't feel like doing all that. But yeah, that harlot is defeated. And we got the first medallion. I mean, not harlot, nobody. Three more to go. How do you know? A pirate must have a keen eye, else he won't be sailing free for very long. Savvy? Ridiculous imitation, and yet, I'm flattered. And with that, we got one of the cursed medallions, a gold medallion that is cursed. It is a grave with a picture of a skull. Uh, yeah, how descriptive, game. Who would have seen that? Jack, what happened? This is horrible. Ah, but who's to blame for it, eh? Yo, Johnny Depp really killed his role as Jack Sparrow. Like, Johnny Depp is a really good actor. I Like, as far as I know, jo they didn't get Johnny Depp to reprise his role as Jack Sparrow. But if I'm wrong, I will correct myself. I'll probably put, like, who voices Johnny or who voices Jack Sparrow in this game. But, yeah. Like, the thing is, is that they don't always get the original voice actors and actors to reprise their roles in Kingdom Hearts. Because, I mean, I feel like it's pretty time-consuming because, you know... A lot of these actors have very busy schedules and a lot of movies they got to star in and a lot of movies they're filming. So I imagine it'd be difficult, you know? But like I said, the guy who voiced Jack Skellington and the guy who voiced Hades re reprised their roles for this game. But I'm not I'm not sure about anyone else. But yeah. Okay, so can I get that puzzle piece? I cannot. I need like to level up my drive forms to like the max or something. But yeah, let's talk to Jack and see where we got to go. We'll probably need to sail all over the blooming place for these medallions, eh? Uh, yeah, we kind of do. So next spot we got to go to. Wait, where do we got to go? But, um, oh, let me equip horizontal slash. Yeah, let me equip this. 
And Magnet Burst I cannot equip because I don't have enough uh thing. You know what? Let's just go to um where, did, where are we supposed to go? I think we gotta go back to the ship graveyard. Oh we do. Wait, where's the the hell? It's all the way down there. Wait, hold on, hold on. How you get that? Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta go this way. Hold on, let me dodge roll and all right, there we go. All right, let's take care. There's nobody right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Am I really about to... Oh, I thought I was going to lose that. I don't know why they give you a time limit to um get all the medallions. I really don't understand. But we got an Auric Calcum. Pretty rare material in this game. But, um... What's in this treasure chest over here? Let's see. It's going to be a Mithril something. An AP... Yo, an AP boost. How perfect. I really needed that. Because, um... I want to equip that one move for Sora, uh, Magnet Burst. Yeah, and I think I should be able to equip it now. Let me see. Yeah, yep, I could equip Magnet Burst now. Okay, we got another medallion. All right, so we, yeah, let's ignore them pirates over there and just go straight for the nobody with the medallion. All right, now we're three quarters of the way done with the medallions. I'm going to ignore that pirate once again and just go on to the next medallion. Oh, we got a meteor staff for Donald. I'm a, I gotta make sure to equip that because I feel like he's in need of, of a new staff. And by the way, that aura sword just made that was magnet burst. So yeah, that move was pretty good. Uh, let's equip that staff for Donald real quick. Yeah, yep, there it is. A staff of great strength that increases magic, increases damage done with thunder based attacks by twenty percent. So yeah, that seems like it's pretty good. Let me equip another accessory for Donald. Uh, let me give him the. Sardo another sardonyx ring okay we're we supposed to go for the last um thing for the last medallion piece is it is that i think it's all of them where so we gotta go oh oh we're being ambushed of course yo this footage look kind of laggy i don't know what's up with that i don't know if it's the game itself or obs or what it's probably one of those instances where it, while i'm recording it looks laggy but when i edit it it doesn't look laggy but if it does look laggy i apologize for that i don't know why it it looks laggy Wait, is it? Yo, where's the last fucking medallion piece? I really don't remember where it is. Oh, there it is. It's right there. All right. Yeah, let's take care. There's nobody right here. Wait, what? Why do I? Why do I have no time to get it? Oh, my God. I just barely had enough time. I really don't know. Well, if you don't get it within the time limit, I don't think you get a game over. I think that nobody just runs away. Four medallions. We got them all. But where's the chest? If we find the hooded man, we'll find it. Probably in Port Royal. Why's that? Organization 13 is after people's hearts, so they're gonna go wherever there's lots of people. They'll hurt the townsfolk? No, they're bringing them flowers, mate. I don't know who these organizers are, but I will say they're making we pirates look like proper gents. Well, Jack. Then, we have to help. Then let go and hold a run free. Okay, so let's do as they say and go back to Port Royal. Also, one thing, we're reaching pretty close to the end of the game. We got to revisit three more Disney worlds, then revisit, re revisit Twilight Town. And then, um, yeah, then we then we have access to the final area in the game, I believe. Actually, no, 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 I forgot. We got to, we can, um, revisit, uh, Space Paranoids again. Now to break that curse. The curse! It's time! Then what's this? Oh, I understand. Jack must have been cursed by that monster, not from taking the gold. Oh, I've no worries then. It's okay, Jack. We'll just have to defeat the monster, that's all. Okay, so now we have this boss fight again. Now, basically, how this boss fight works is that as that monster is right now, you can't damage him. I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't damage him. So how you damage him is that you got to get all the medallions, put them back in the chest, and yeah, put all 882 medallions back in the chest. And then once you put all the medallions in the chest, you can damage him again. But yeah, to get the... What the fuck? That did mad damage. But then again, to damage him, you have to hit... I think you have to hit him with magic? Yeah, you got to hit him with magic to damage him. 
to get the rest of the medallions. So yeah, be sure to damage them. So yeah, let me put these medallions back in the chest. All right, I need 30... No, 30, 35 more medallions to put in the treasure chest. All right, let me wait till... um. My MP gauge recovers. So actually, no, no, no. Let me let me get Donald on my team. Donald will actually be useful for once. Oh, uh, let me um replace Jack with Goofy. Okay, Jack is dead. And Donald's about to be freaking dead. Oh my god. Yo, no lie though. This boss fight can is really, really annoying looking back at it. But yeah, you may have noticed I'm dodge rolling a lot. Like normally when I'm playing this game, I never use dodge roll because I just take attacks because I play on normal mode. And normal mode, they don't do nearly as much damage as they do on critical mode. So, yeah, that's why I'm using dodge roll a lot. And, of course, this useless duck is dead, bro. Yeah, this boss fight can, can really be mad annoying. But, yeah, like, once he's in this form, you can damage him to your heart's content. Uh, let me replace uh, Jack with Goofy. So I want to use uh, Nox Mash. And this is going to do mad damage on him. But, yeah, like, I said this boss fight is annoying, but, like, watch me, I... Oh, I thought I wasted um Nox Mash, but I was gonna say I said it say this boss fight is mad annoying, and it truly is. But like, watch me beat it without dying. Wow, he blew he blew all the freaking medallions away, bro. Wait, oh no, you can stop him by using the hinder reaction command. I forgot about that. So yeah, you might want to hinder his progress and use loot launch. All right, let me get the medallions. Is that all? Of them? I think that's all of them. Yep. No, it's not all of them. I I don't know how to do math. Wow. Yo, thankfully this boss drops um MP orbs. So yeah, there's that. Those bubbles that he drops, those are MP orbs. Those um restore your MP. And like, oh wait, no, I gotta stop him. What am I doing? No, not Whirligoof. Are you f yo, bro? I was about to beat him. Are you serious, bro? Come on, son. Really? I said it say this boss fight is mad annoying, and it truly is, but like watch me beat it without dying. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can beat this stupid boss fight without dying. No, I'm going to die. I swear to God, I hate this boss so much. I really do. I really hate this boss. Yo, as for what world I'm going to go to next, I'm going to probably go to... um. Uh, it's between Agrabah and um, Land of Drag... Not Land of Drags. Agrabah and um, Halloween Town. Yeah. And I'm going I'm to probably visit Pride Pride Worlds, Pride Lands last. I, did, I didn't mean to go into Auto Valor. I did not mean to go into Auto Valor. That was, that was an accident. Yo, I don't know the name of this boss. I'm going to probably put it on screen right now. Because I honestly never knew this boss's name. I don't even know most of the boss's names by heart. And I've been playing this game since I was like nine years old. Isn't that funny? All right, we need, we deadass need one more medallion. And Donald is dead as expected. Like, I'm really not surprised this fucking duck is dead. That's 69 deaths I have right now. Oh my god. Alright, uh, let me see if I can equip a Keyblade that has the ability to, like, make MP charge go faster. I think I do. Yes, it's the Circle of Life. Increases MP restoration speed by 25% after MP is consumed. Okay, that's gonna be good. That's gonna come in mad clutch. But hold on, let me see if I can get some potions from the Moogle in here. Is there a Moogle in here? There's no Moogle in here. Wow, that's tough. All right, you know I'm gonna just I'm gonna just go off, go um go to another uh area and buy some potions because I I need them. So yeah, I'll cut back to when I'm back here. Okay, so now I'm back. I got a bunch of potions and stuff, and I equipped the Circle of Life Keyblade. So yeah, here's hoping I can actually beat this fight this time. Will I be able to? Hopefully, because I'm really tired of I've been really tired of this boss at this point. I really do not like this boss fight. Like, this game is really full of... Oh, wait, we got all the medallions. I didn't even pee. Let's put them back in the chest. Let's put them back in the chest. Oh, no, we need two more. Oh, they're right there. They're right there. They're right there. They're right there. There we go. I got them. All right, there we go. Uh, let's go into Master Form so I can get some damage on them. Oh, my God. And my capture card does this again, bro. Why does it keep doing this, bro? Okay, I, I really don't know why my capture card keeps doing that. Like, it's it's getting really annoying at this point. Like, I really don't know if it's my capture card itself or OBS or Streamlabs. Because that happens when I stream on Streamlabs too. By the way, if you haven't followed me on Twitch, you should. Yo, I've been recording for 41 minutes so far. Like, with the with the way I was recording, you think I would be on, like, the set, another world. But no, I'm stuck on this stupid boss. Now I know the strategy to beat him. Stay under him and spam magic like I... Are you... 
Okay, he's about to die. 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 He's about to, die. He's about to finally, bro. Jesus Christ, man. Oh my god, that's like way longer than it should have, son. Jesus Christ, bro. All better. And not quite, mate. Sora. Bravo. Just who was that chap? He is part of an organization that's collecting hearts. First, they release heartless into different worlds. We defeat those heartless, then they get the hearts. We're never gonna stop them like this. What's the plan, then? We gotta find their stronghold and finish them off, once and for all. Sail in these waters, I've heard some tales, but not a one like this. Is there any way we can help? Hmm... Anything at all. There is. It's certain we don't need the likes of that hooded fellow and the Heartless about. They'll ruin the market for us true pirates. So that's why you went to Port Royal. And we thought you actually wanted to save everyone. A pirate always looks to profit, Miss Swan. Too bad. You had us going there thinking you'd turned over a new leaf. The question is, what's beyond the leaf, Savvy? Oh, oh yes. A reward. And what'll it be? That lovely blade of Sora's. Huh? Okay, sure. Hold on, that was far too easy. Uh, what's the rub? Now there, you see? Well, you've always got the pearl, Jack. That I do. But someday I'll gather a bloodthirsty crew and come to take that blade. Chance by then, I'll have the way to wield it. And if I succeed, I'll ask you two to join me. That'd be reward enough. Done. Maybe someday Jack will be able to use the Keyblade after all. Where's Pratt? <laughs> yup. He and Sora are kind of alike, don't you think? Or not. <laughs> Some say Jack Sparrow's the worst pirate ever to sail the Spanish main. No one could really mean that. Right. We know he's the best. I hope we'll get to see him again. And with that done, we don't gotta worry about the curse of the Aztec gold or Port Royal ever again, bro. That boss fight was really pissing me off, bro. Alright, so they're talking about that weird reading they got last time, but... Uh, what's the weird reading again? I think it's something to do with, uh, Twilight Town? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, alrighty then. Okay, so we learned we learned a new magnet spell, right? So we're gonna go to Atlantica and do this part. Um, I think this is the last visit for Atlantica. I'm not too sure, but the song I'm gonna mute it because I'm tired. I'm tired of these copyright claims. So I'm just gonna mute it myself. So let's talk to Ariel. So let's say you gain some experience. I don't really see what experience I really needed to gain to remove a pendant, but I mean, I don't question Kingdom Hearts logic anymore, because this shit is confusing. This is great, Sora. I know he'll be happy to have this back. 
And just who is this he? Daddy! Ariel, you know how dangerous humans are. You don't even know him! Oh, Daddy, you've told me that you don't trust humans. But they can't all be as bad as you say. And I'm... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. So help me, Ariel. I am going to get through to you. And if this is the only way... So be it. Oh, we see Ursula. I almost call her Medusa. Ew, this lady is ugly, bro. This bitch is ugly, son. I forgot how ugly this lady is. But, yeah. So, basically, if I remember... I haven't watched Little Mermaid in so long. It's really been forever. But, yo, fun fact. When I was a kid, I used to have a crush on Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Yeah, I was one of those kids that had cartoon crushes. Any Anybody that said they never had cartoon crushes as a kid is lying. Because everybody I know had a cartoon crush as a kid. Like, for real. Like, bro, I, I used to have a crush on Kim Possible when I was a kid. Yo, imagine the Kim Possible world in this game, in Kingdom Hearts. That would be fire. Like, that would be amazing. But, yeah, she's basically bargaining with um Ursula, and Ursula's offering to make her a human. In exchange for her voice, I think? Yeah, I think it was in exchange for her voice. I remember the fight, the Ursula fight from Kingdom Hearts 1. I didn't like it at all. It was one of the worst fights in that game. But, yeah. I'll turn into a human right now. All you have to do is sign a little contract. And Ariel, being the, the idiot that she is, is going to sign it. Like, bro, why would you trust someone named Ursula the Sea Witch? What witch do you know is trustworthy? Well, the only th witch I could think that's trustworthy is Vanessa from Black Clover. But, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dialogue and exposition. Yo, I've been recording for 53 minutes. And most of, most of it is because of that stupid boss fight from, from poor Royal. Like, that boss fight was really blowing minds. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, alright. Yeah, don't listen to Ariel. Take words from Sebastian, bro. Oh, what's going on? Now, I won't intrude any longer. I'll be on my way. You obviously don't want my help. Too bad about your prince, though. He is quite a cat. Wait! All I have to do is sign? We have a deal. Here you go. Ariel, don't! Sora, please! You've got to stop her, man! Wait! like that. Are you the girl? Please wake up. Whoa, easy there.
What's wrong? You can't speak? Oh, well, where did you come from? I can't believe you found it. Thank you. Please, come with me. I, I want to help you. Yo, bro, Ariel gotta be one of these stupidest bitches in video games, bro. Like, you really gonna sacrifice your voice for some nigga you don't even know? And you gonna trust someone named Ursula the Sea Witch? And, like, bro, Sebastian is clearly telling you don't trust her. And you gonna sit there and sign a contract anyway? And if I remember correctly, the contract said something about for all eternity. Like, bro, that means you're gonna never talk to him ever again. Bro, how are you supposed to have a relationship with someone you can't even talk, bro? I mean, I'm pretty sure it could work for, like, people who use sign language, people who are deaf and stuff. And shout out to them for making it work. But I'm talking in the context of this, of a Disney movie, or a, a Disney-based game. Like, bro, Ariel is so dumb, son. Jesus Christ. This, like, that's another reason why I, um, why I hate this world, because of how stupid Ariel is, bro. So we just float and watch? Yeah, good point, Sora. Good point. We can make Ursula fix all of this. Yo, thank you, Sora. For once, Sora is being a logical and sensible one. Normally, it's goofy. But, yo. God, Ariel is so dumb. Oh, my God. She's so stupid, bro. Like, oh, my God, bro. Sis really gave up her voice for a nigga that she doesn't even know. Like, someone she just met, bro. Where's Sebastian? Uh, uh, well, King Triton wanted him at the palace. I wonder if it's about Ariel. If King Triton finds out what happened, we're in hot water. Especially since we kept it a secret. What about Ursula? She disappeared! Well, how's Ariel doing? She's only got until sunset tomorrow, right? Hey, look! Oh. so close well i think we ought to get back to looking for ursula yeah good idea <sighs> no sign of ursula anywhere i wonder where that sea witch could have gone ah. ariel's been crying for a long time what would I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see you smiling at me? Where would we walk? Where would we run? If we could hey, stay what's up with the all prince? day in the sun, Look, there. just you and me. And I could be... It's Ursula! She must have turned herself into that girl! Okay, that's it. Eric! 
You... You can talk. You're the one. The girl who sang to me. Oh, Eric. I wanted to tell you. Of course. It was you. You're the one who, who saved me that night in the storm. Oh, Ariel. I'm sorry I didn't figure it out sooner. You're the one I love. Eric. Not so fast! <gasps> Do you see what I see? <laughs> You're too late! <sighs> Ariel! you fools. Triton's precious little daughter signed a contract. Now, dearie, let's see how beautiful you are when I'm through with you. That contract's no good. Let her go. Excuse me? Now, now. Even the great King Triton can't go round breaking binding contracts. Why, it just wouldn't do, would it? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some loose ends to tie up. Wait, Ursula. You win. Just promise you'll let my daughter go. But we had a deal. Unless, of course, you're offering to take her place. I'm afraid I have no choice. Your Majesty! <laughs> At last! Daddy! Ha! Who's the mighty ruler of the seas now? You... you monster! Let him go! Insignificant human! Hey, that's enough. Aha! No, you all bow to me!
That's what you think! No! It's not possible! It's over, Ursula. That belongs to me! All right, then. You can have it! <sighs> <sighs> Please, Ariel. You can come out now. It's okay. Ariel? Is why I went to Ursula. This can't be. I would have told you sooner. To think. Eric, goodbye. I had all that time and I didn't work on my swimming. Huh? Well, I guess it's never too late to learn, right? Will you teach me? Oh, I'd love to. All right! And with that done, we get Mysterious Abyss. Enhances magic to increase damage dealt with Blizzard based attacks by 20%. It's an eye keyblade, I don't really care for it. But yeah, yo, I know I've been shitting on this world a lot and I still do hate it, but that that boss fight, that whole cinematic, that whole rhythm game for the for the Ursula fight, that was amazing. I've always loved that. For one, I really like the song. Two, just the whole cinematic is really cool. And three, that means I never have to do this world ever again. So yeah, those are the reasons why I really like that fight. But yeah, Ariel, an idiot. Ariel is really stupid. But yeah, you know. You know this. You know how it goes in all Disney movies. True love conquers all. Like you can meet somebody like two hours ago and already fall in love with them, get married, and live happily ever after. Does it make sense? No, but it makes for really good Disney movies. So I really try not to question it at all. Yo, I've been recording for an hour and ten minutes at this point. An hour and ten minutes, yo. I can see it right now. I can see OBS letting me know. Oh, there's not enough space to continue recording. So yeah, if that happens. I would not be surprised. So. Yeah, with all that done... Wait, do we have another song to do? Oh, we need one more visit. I, that wasn't the last um visit. We need to get Thundogger, but... Yeah. Um, whatchamacallit. So yeah, once we get Thundogger, we'll be able to do the Little Mermaid World. But yeah, as of now, we got a choice to go to either Agrabah or Halloween Town. I'm gonna go to Agrabah first. So yeah, let's go to Agrabah. <laughs> So we back here at Agrabah with all this treasures and stuff and the peddler who's re It's really offensive if you really look at his design and the way he talks like Yo, like I said, oh if you watch this on Disney Plus, there's that as a trigger warning And normally I make fun of trigger warnings, but I really don't blame them because looking back at it This movie is really offensive, you know, but yeah 
So, yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, the boss, the, the boss of the second run of Agrabah is really annoying. Yo, what is up with the bosses being annoying on sec the second runs of this game? But, yeah, like, I'm just happy I don't have to do freaking um, Port Royal ever again. But we have one more run of them. Um, we have one more run of, um... Wait! <sighs> What's going on? Can't believe it! That stupid peddler let you far out of the lamp! Jafar! <laughs> Give me the magic lamp, Aladdin! And now, street rats, I bid you farewell! Crush those urchins! <laughs> Yo, uh, Jafar reminds me of this Crash Bandicoot villain. This is, I forgot what his name is. I think his name is Engin. Hold on, I gotta look him up. He reminds me of Entropy from uh, Crash Bandicoot. That's who he reminds me of. Cause, or should I say, Entropy reminds me of him. Y'all know what I mean. Cause. They're both their face shapes are mad similar, but yeah, apparently Jafar was released from the lamp, and that's not good. That is no good, as Sonic the Hedgehog said in that one cartoon. But yeah, here's Iago. Just yeah, yeah. Here's Iago trying to save his own ass, which I don't blame him. Like Iago may come off as selfish, but it's like Jafar can easily, can easily. I'm trying to make a, a funny bird joke. Can easily kill him, but yeah, that, that joke wasn't coming to me, but yeah. He's in the desert ruins. I'm not going to do much in this world. I'm going to save um, I'm going to save the game and then end the video because this video is going to be probably going to be really long, but yeah. Oh yeah, there's another absent silhouette right there. That right there is Vexen. If you, if you um have the best fire magic move in the game, Vexen is a joke. Vexen is probably... Him and Zexion are probably the easiest um absent silhouette battles. But So yeah, I'm going to call it a night. End the video right here. Part 23 of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on Critical Mode. Thank y'all so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Make sure y'all follow me on my social in the description as well. And yeah, I'm going to be off this. Y'all take care. Have a good one. And I will see you on the next video.